What's up, everybody? We are back with episode 7 of my Wolfpack Dynasty. We are going into Miami to take on the Miami Hurricanes. This game should be very well uh, played. This is our first ACC game of the year, uh, first of many to come, uh, unfortunately. So, uh, starting off, Ryan Kent is the main dude for the Miami team you know the hurricanes have always been quite good uh, in the ACC uh, had a really good sewer, uh, uh, championship a couple years ago NCC Wolfpack uh, NC State Wolfpack looking to make a difference in this game so following the kickoff at the beginning uh, we kicked it off to them so they want to toss in essence so First play, Jackson hands off the Mullins up to the left-hand side, and he's tackled for a first down. Next play from scrimmage, the Hurricanes are coming out in a four wide receiver or three wide receiver set, and Jackson looks to pitch it to Mullins, and he stopped in the backfield. This NC State defense playing excellent, five-yard loss on the play. Next play from scrimmage, Jackson's gonna drop back to pass, and he's gonna look for his man on the left hand sideline, and it's picked up by Williamson, and he's got nobody in front of him, and he's at the ten, and that's a touchdown for NC State. What a way to start a game! Game seven points on the board after a hurricane a punt. We hand the ball off to Griffin, and he stopped in the backfield for a two yard loss. Next play from scrimmage. We're looking at Ron Griffin again up the middle, and he bounces off the right-hand side, but he's only got one yard of gainage on that play. So next play from scrimmage, the Wolfpack looking to go deep on a pass, and he finds nobody incomplete pass on the play. Fourth and 11, we had to punt. So first possession was terrible. So Miami Hurricanes have the ball. Jackson back to pass. He looks and he finds. Oh no, he's sacked by Preston. What a sack. That was third down after two bad plays. So they had to punt it away. So Griffin gets the ball and he stopped in the backfield. This Hurricane defense is too good for the NC State Wolfpack's offense at this point. So next play from scrimmage. Looking to run a halfback draw. They find Griffin. He's got room and he stopped after a five-yard gain on the play. Next play from scrimmage, Bryant looking for a pass, and he's going to drop back and find none other than Bryant for the first down. Wolfpack in business at the 31-yard line. So first down and 10, they're going to hand the ball off to Griffin up the middle, and he stopped after a 5-yard gain. Second and 5 now, going to go into shotgun formation, and he's looking to go to the outside receivers. He's going to throw it over to the right-hand side, and he overshoots his man that was laying on the corner. So, fourth and five, have to kick a field goal. Now the Wolfpack are up 10 to nothing. So, first possession of the second quarter for the Hurricanes. We're going to send Goodman on a blitz. They're going to drop back to pass, and they find Jackson on the right-hand side. He's got room to the outside. He's at the 50. He's at the 4. Oh, he's tackled at the 44-yard line. So, first and 10 for the Hurricanes. They're going to hand the ball off. Oh, no, it's a play-action pass. He's looking down the field, and he finds his man. Brown catches it in between three defenders after a terrible one-run play and an incomplete pass and another incomplete pass. They're going to have to kick a field goal, so they're going to make it 10-3. to What a leg to have as a kicker. So, next possession for the Wolfpack. They're going to go back and pass. Casey Bryant's looking to pass, and he's going to go deep down the field trying to find Lane on the sidelines, and it's almost picked off off that deflection. So, next play. Bryant's going to hand the ball off to Griffin. He's going to go up the middle and find about six yards worth of run, running room. So third and four now. Shotgun formation. Casey is going to drop back to pass. And he's going to find none other than Lane on the sideline. Four. Oh, he caught the ball at the 20. What a play. That was a nice play. I mean, that was, that was fantastic. So they're going to hand the ball off to Griffin. Let him run. He's going to bounce off the right-hand side, and it's a touchdown Wolfpack. 17-3. to They are owning up this defense. So, they're going to hand the ball off to Mullins again. Jackson and Mullins. That's the connection we're going to see all game, hopefully. So now, the Hurricanes in for shotgun formation. Going to drop back to pass and hand off to Mullins again. He's got room up the middle, and he's finally tackled, but but not before he gets the first down. So Jackson back to pass once again. And he's going to look 
into the middle and find Green for the nine yard gain. Should have been a first down. His foot touched the line. Record is a 10 yard reception. So Jackson, formation back, shotgun formation again. Gonna find Green on the exact same play, but he's gonna get more than 10 yards on that play. So next play from scrimmage, Jackson, shotgun formation. He's gonna look for a receiver and he finds Jackson again. He shreds and she, he's going right between the defenders. So after a nine, so after the next play, I don't know how that was in the first down. He's going to look and he's going to get sacked by our defense. So third and 11 now for the Hurricanes. Jackson, play uh, shotgun formation. He's going to look over the middle and it's picked off by Tillman. That's how the halftime, that's how the second quarter is going to come to an end. Tillman doing work for the defense. Hurricanes lost a chance to score at the end of the quarter so gonna hand off the griffin up the middle and he's got room and then a first down so now second and 10 after an incomplete pass they're gonna run the ball with griffin again to the outside and he's gonna find room to the outside and he is stopped before he could reach the third down or first down marker so it's third down and three they're gonna go play. They're gonna go shotgun formation. Casey Bryant's looking for a man, and he finds Lane on the outside, and he's jagged out at the 40-yard line. Four seconds left in the second quarter. Can the Wolf Pack put another score on the board to really widen this lead up? Shotgun formation. Casey Bryant looking deep for a man into the end zone, and it's broken up. Halftime. First possession for for the Wolf Pack in halftime. They're gonna hand the ball off to Griffin. He has room to the outside, and he is tackled after an eight-yard gain. Next play, going to hand out the ball off to Griffin again, and he runs up the middle, and he gets a little bit more, and it's, he's out to the 40-yard line. He has 69 yards on the day, one touchdown at that, too. So, uh, next play from scrimmage, Bryant looking out to pass, and he's going to look to the middle, and he's going to find Peterson on a diving catch. What a play by Peterson, the big man. So, now, going to hand the ball off to Griffin, and he's stopped in the backfield for a four-yard loss. This Miami Hurricane defense is doing work. Casey Bryan looking for a man, and it's picked off by Kelly. Kelly's got room. Nobody in front of him. He's at the 40. He's at the 50. He's at the 40-yard line, and he is tackled at the 31. So after one yard loss on a run play and two incomplete passes, the Hurricanes are going to look to kick the ball, and it's hook into the right, and he misses the field goal. They miss a good opportunity to put points on the board so after a two yard run an incomplete pass Casey Bryant looking to pass for the Wolfpack and he's going deep and he finds the other team Hines intercepts him and he's got running room and he is tackled at the 35 this defense is doing too well for this NC State offense so first and 10 now Jackson drops back to pass and he finds Jackson again on the sideline what a seven yard pickup that that's hopefully they can score and Maybe put this lead down, like get down on the lead, you know. So second and th three now. You gotta hand the ball to Mullins, and he bounces off the outside for a nice 15-yard gain. So after incomplete pass and a three-yard run, Jackson's gonna drop back the pass, and he's looking for a man, and he finds Howard, and that's a touchdown. Oh no, he fumbles it, and. I mean, he fumbled at the goal line. It went out of bounds. So it was first and goal for the Hurricanes. After two incomplete passes, they're going to hand the ball off to Mullins. And it's a touchdown. NC State gives up the points. Now it's actually a ball game, 17-10. to We're going back, back into the, basically the fourth quarter. And so they're going to hand the ball off to Griffin. He's got running room up the middle, and he is tackled after a nine-yard gain. So third and four after a two-yard loss on or three-yard running play loss uh, on that play they're going to hand the ball off and it's first and 10 so shotgun formation for the wolf pack they're going to hand the ball off on a halfback draw to catch griffin got hurt on the previous play so second that was second in inches and then after a incomplete i mean after a one yard loss they're going to hand the ball off to griffin he's back into the game and he gets a first down because of it basically so now first and 10 for the Wolfpack. Looking to run down this clock as much as possible. Going to hand the ball off to Griffin. And he gets a nice five-yard gain on the play. So third and seven now for the Wolfpack. Shotgun formation. Casey Bryant looking for his man. And he's going to find Bryant on the sideline. 30 to the 20. And he's pushed out at the 15-yard line. 
First and 10 for the Wolfpack. Going for Pater. They're going to hand the ball off up the middle to Griffin. And he's going to get a first down, but there's a flag on the play. It's going to be holding on the offense. So it's going to be first and 20. After an incomplete pass, it's second and 20. Now they're going to hand the ball off again to Koch on a halfback draw. But he stopped for a two-yard loss, so third and 22. Now there's not much hope for a possible end zone they're gonna, or possible touchdowns. So they're going to try to get uh, close enough as they possibly can. He's looking over the middle, but he's sacked. Fourth and 32. Going to try to kick a 55-yard field goal, and it's up, and it is short, almost over the crossbar, just underneath it though. So first and 10 for the Miami Hurricanes. They're going to Jackson's going to drop back to pass, and he's going to find Jackson over the middle for a first down. Jackson to Jackson has been killing everybody all day. Kevin Jackson, 106 yards out of 9 to 15. So he is a good uh, quarterback rating at this point. So after a four-yard run by Mullins, it is second and six for the Hurricanes. Jackson going to find Jackson once again over the middle, third and inches after an incomplete pass. It's fourth and inches now. Jackson is going to drop back into shotgun formation, and he's going to roll to his right. And fine, Jackson on the outside. I don't know how he caught that ball. So after two incomplete passes, Jackson, last chance possibly for the Hurricanes. 53 seconds left. Jackson back to pass. And he's sacked by Kent. What a play by Kent. Now it's a hurry-up play for the Hurricanes. And it's fourth and 22. Can NC State hold him out and make sure they don't get the first down and possibly get into the end zone? He finds a man over the middle. Jackson does, and Brown is stopped before he could reach it. The first down marker, and the NC State Wolfpack basically just down the ball to win the game. 17-10. to 10. What a game in Miami. They came in, the underdogs, to beat out a better team in Miami. Wow, what a game. So... Final score once again is 17 to 10 NC State over the Miami Hurricanes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. It was probably the most. I mean, I I personally liked it. So if you guys uh like this video, then make sure to leave me a like. And you guys make sure to watch out for the uh, week six recruiting video that will be going up before the game against FSU. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. I know I've really enjoyed this series. And thank you guys so much for your feedback that you've given me. It has really helped me. And thank you for uh, just watching the video and hopefully enjoying them. So next time, guys, we'll take on F F FSU.